Let's look into how to solve differential equations within SAGE. So let's say we want to solve the differential equation dy dx plus y of x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now certainly we could solve this using other techniques, but let's see how you can actually do it within SAGE so that when we, can, when we want to solve harder problems, we can actually solve those within SAGE. So the first thing we need to do is we need to define y to be a function called y, uh, and it's a function of x. Um, so we need to tell Sage that y is going to be a function. We also need to define our differential equation. And so our differential equation, which we'll call DE, is going to be the derivative of y with respect to x, dy dx, plus y minus 2, and that's equal to 0. Notice the difference between a single equals and a double equals. Um, so the single equals is just we use for the definition of a variable. A double equals is when we have something that are actually equal to each other in a equation. Okay, so we do this and we have defined now our new differential equation, DE. Uh, and so if I ask Sage, what is this differential equation, DE? It spits that back out in a uh, kind of confusing looking format, but okay, there is our differential equation. Okay, so let's solve this differential equation. The way to solve the differential equation in SAGE is to use the method DE solve. And so DE solve um, it first takes the differential equation, which is DE, um, and then it takes the function that you're trying to solve the differential equation for. So if we just input this into SAGE, it will spit out our solution to our differential equation. And we know it's a general solution because it has an arbitrary constant here, um, c underscore, uh, which it wrote with the underscore first. OK, so that's our arbitrary constant. And then e to the x and e to the minus x. OK, so let's figure out how to do this with initial conditions. So in it, to solve a problem with initial conditions in SAGE, uh, what you need to do is, well, you do the same DE solve of DE and you want to solve it for y. Um, and then in order to oppose initial conditions, you say ICS, initial conditions, are equal to, uh, and then the first value you put inside these square brackets is what the initial condition actually is. So by putting zero, we're saying at x equal to zero, um, I want to impose my initial conditions. And what value do I want for y at x equal to zero? Well, I want y at zero to be one. So that's how I impose my initial conditions. The first slot is the x value at which you're imposing the initial conditions. The next slot is y at that initial condition. Um, if you had more uh, slots, if you needed to impose y prime and y double prime, the first and second derivatives of y, they would just go in the next uh, slots. So y prime at 0, y double prime at 0. OK, so I use this to impose my initial condition, and I indeed get now a specific solution, or a particular solution, um, with no arbitrary constants. Excellent. Um, and so now that I have a solution to my uh, differential equation with this particular set of initial conditions, let me grab that. And now let me call that solution um, solution 1. And so now this is some particular solution that I call solution one. Uh, and I'm going to now make a plot of this solution one. So let me make plot of solution one for x from zero to five. Um, I'm going to impose the y min value. I'm going to uh, say that y can't be below zero. OK. And then I get a plot of the solution to this differential equation. Let me actually call this something. Let me call this plot the exact plot, the exact solution to this problem. Because later, I'm in the next step, we're going to use numerical solutions. And so I'd like to compare the exact plot and the numerical plot with each other. OK, so there's our exact plot. Now let's imagine we wanted to solve this differential equation numerically uh, because, say, there wasn't a way to solve it any other way. And so let's go back to DE solve. So this is just to solve things exactly. But if we hit tab, we'll see a lot of different other ways of solving differential equations. The primary uh, numerical method we're going to use is called the RK4, our Runge-Kutta fourth order method. 
And we'll do this the same way that we would have done the DE solve before. We specify our differential equation, our function y, our initial conditions are 0 and 1. We also have to tell it what the endpoint is that we want to have for our uh, numerical solution. So x equal to 5 will be our endpoint. And our step size will be 0 0.05. Let's call this a new solution, call sol2. And the green bar told us it was thinking in the background and it has solved it now. Okay. Okay, so now let's plot this solution. And the way we plot a solution, a numerical solution, to a differential equation is with the points method. So we say points of the solution that we got from the numerical solver. And it spits out all of the individual data points that it used to solve the system. Let's call this a new plot. Let's call this the numerical plot. Uh, and then let's retype that so that we can display it. There's our numerical plot. Okay, and then let's add these two together so we can see what they look like on top of each other. And you can actually add plots. And when you add plots, then it does exactly what you would think. It adds them right on top of each other so you can compare them. So add the exact plot and the numerical plot. You can see there here there's a solid line and then the dotted points are on top of the solid line. So the numerical and the exact solutions line up quite nicely. So that was our first video in how to solve differential equations in SAGE. In the next video, we'll explore some other ways of finding solutions in SAGE.